Welcome to Cynthia Porter's studio. I'm Cindy and this is my exploration into fluid art. So I'm about to go in the garden and this is going to be the color palette I'm going to use in my garden. We're going to go with those purples and yellows just like my mom asked for. So buckle up kids and I'm going to get you on the canvas. Hey Google, play 10,000 Maniacs Radio. And if you have any questions about the paint colors I'm using or the technique, just ask me in the comments and I'll be more than happy to share it with you. I've mixed all my paints with water only, including the white I'm blowing out here. I added just a little bit of water at a time until it would fall off the stick and back into itself into the cup. Plus I'll list my paints used and a few insights in my description. Hey Google, turn off. So I just wanted to point out, if you noticed when I was blowing that all out, I was really staying in a downward motion and taking my time with it. And that kept me from making such a big mess that splatters all over my walls and floor and everything. <laughs> yeah, it's taken me a few years to learn that method. <laughs> and now I'm just adding my paint, making sure that my sides are nice and slick. Because I, I want what I blow out and everything to be covered very nicely. Oh! And if you're new to my channel, I hope you'll think of liking and subscribing and joining with my fun. And the rest of you, thanks for being here, and I love you guys. I'm going to get back to it. Hey, Google, play 10,000 Maniacs Radio. Gang, I just wanted to chime in and let you know, when I'm placing my chains without paint onto my canvas as I'm doing here, I'm using them almost like a trace, so I can see where I'm wanting my flowers to go and where I'm wanting to pull those chains to. And it's a big part of me seeing my vision come to life.
Folks, looking all nice and wet and scrumptious. Hold on for some dried results and some insights. Next. Cause I got you. Everybody else makes me feel small and done and lost. But you're not like everybody else at all. You're the only the 
dried results and let me know what you think. Do you like it better landscape or do you like it better um, portrait? Also, my biggest insight is I used the Artist Loft Flow White as my base. And it gave me a lot of pearls and effects, but it also ate up my chain pull. So I wasn't quite sure, but I do think it kind of gives it a very airy, almost watercolor look. I think I like that. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Also, I added a little bit of the dioxine purple in with my greens and yellow just to give me a little bit more depth. Before I leave, this is Cindy wishing you all a bunch of peace, love, light, and lots of laughter. Love y'all. Bye-bye.